Good evening. We begin tonight with a VNL investigation. A Yulin mom is speaking out about repeat sex offenders being released back into the public after she says her young daughter was victimized. She wants harsher punishments and more protections for families like hers. Valley News team's Courtney Lockie investigates what law enforcement and the courts are up against and has ways to protect your children. Watching the kids play at a Yulin Park, Stephanie Brecken keeps a close eye on her daughter these days. I should have seen red flags, but I never did. She was sexually assaulted at the age of three. Brecken says her family never received justice and she worries about others. In 15 minutes, I was able to find 10 repeat child sex offenders in our region on the North Dakota side alone. These are all recent within the past two years. A 2022 study from child molester recidivism says those who have committed these kinds of crimes have a 77% chance of reoffending. I'm very scared because I've I've seen the effects that it has on kids. And you know, like I said, my son, you know, he's severe special needs and he runs towards danger instead of away from it. As Ray Bartset worries living in the Fargo Moorhead area, there are 337 registered sex offenders in Fargo alone. You've got to be careful no matter what you do. Punishments for offenders vary by county. Some sentencings are over eight years. Others are less than a year. Authorities want to see equality across the state when it comes to holding people accountable, and they're working with legislators to do so. Until that happens, there are ways to protect your kids. Really the best way for a parent to combat that is to talk about this with their children. Uh, not only uh, social media dangers, but uh, these dangers that uh, our parents talked to us many years ago in public. In 2016, the North Dakota BCI took 166 cyber tips from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Last year, they took more than 1,500. Nationally, kids between the ages of 10 and 14 are most likely to be abducted between the hours of 2 and 7. More often than not, predators lure children into a vehicle with promises of money, candy, or animals. Run through scenarios with them. Uh, let them know that if uh, something bad happens that they can talk to them or if something something scared them or someone scared them or followed them, they can talk to them and, and let them know that that happened. And then obviously contact the authorities if you're ever uh, even suspect that someone might be uh, trying to abduct children or watch children. Though it's not always the strangers you have to watch for. If you don't don't completely trust that person, if this isn't a family member that's very close to you, my suggestion is we don't leave our children alone with that individual, no matter who they are. Education and communication is the number one defense. Authorities are working to keep your kids safe. The BCI has a team in Fargo to go after internet crimes against children. Fargo police have a unit dedicated to crimes against children. They also have a detective assigned to monitor sex offenders in the city. And twice a year, beat officers are assigned to check up on sexual offenders in the area they patrol. Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live. This story came to us through our whistleblower hotline. If you need help with an issue where you are, you can call it too. The number is there on your screen, 701-369-3187. There's also a form that you can fill out on our website and your VNL News app.